Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant World Honorverse. This is episode number 17, I think. And uh, so we have the Masadans who declared war on us in the last episode. Or, I don't even know, I think it was the last episode. But uh, our reaction, what is our reaction going to be to that? I was debating, like, should we go ahead and uh, push really hard? Should we let our allies deal with it? Now, part, part of the way, off camera, I was looking at a few things, excuse me. Um, we do have a reactionary fleet sent from the Salesians. I don't remember if I covered this completely, but um, as far as military strength goes, we're actually sitting right in the middle of everyone. And we have the capacity, we're definitely holding a little bit back in terms of, I mean, in favor of our economy. But right now, the Salesians are actually second overall with 4,200. The first place is the Solarian League. They are just really running away with military strength, 7,000. Um, in a, like a weird twist, which is a little bit surprising to me, um, their population is actually not as high as ours. And uh, the Salesians are the leading on the population. You can kind of see that economic annual GDP, 865, these things almost are directly linear. Oh, just kidding. Annual GDP of the Solarian League is 1,100. Oh... Sorry, tax revenue is probably what I wanted to look at. But their population, that's because they don't have a democracy, right? Okay. Um, these guys are dealing, these, their government type, the Silesian Confederacy, I believe, I don't remember if they're a democracy or not. I think they're, yeah, they're a utopian paradise, which is comparable with the um, democracy, but I don't think it has the tax benefits that um, the democracy does. So we, we should have a small advantage there. But generally, population is the number one item you want to look at when you're comparing people. And there's even this uh, em empire comparison screen we can look at. I don't use it very often, but this is really the... If you wanted to look at who's doing the best at any given time, I generally just skip over to population and I look. Okay, so right now the Salesians are just simply the best in the game. Why is that? It's because their home system is actually the best. <laughs> their home planet, Handwini? Is this it? No. Is this their, oh, here it is. So their home planet just allows more people than ours does. Um, you can see Re, the Silesian Confederacy home planet, has almost 24 billion, whereas mine has about 21.5 billion. We're both maxed out, but their max out is about 10% larger than mine, and that is extremely significant. So I actually edited down the Manticore, the planet, to be a smaller size. I think it originally was like 29 or so. So I probably would have had a larger or at least equal population, but I decided to edit it down just because in the honor verse, the lore, Manticore isn't a huge planet. And on top of that, well, I want to go in the system. Here we go. I'm starting with two other really good planets in my same system, which gives me, I don't know, I feel like later on in the game, that is going to be a bigger advantage. It's always a problem that at first, your first colony, your home planet, when you start with the starts that I did for the game setup, um, you usually get like over a billion people for your starting population, like what, like four billion or so. With the uh, you know exponential growth being what it is, the more you have, the more you're growing. So uh, the first planet gets to max population just years and years and decades and decades in front of your other colonies. So um, eventually we will see, we will be reaping the reward of having two other colonies in our home system. But for now, um, and you have to also kind of weigh that against the fact that I had to spend the time building colony ships for my home system that other people were going and expanding in other places. Which brings me to the next point I wanted to make, which is while looking off camera, I noticed that we have um, another colony which we can potentially colonize. And this is an, a, a, an especially special one because it is one that already has 2 billion people. So this is a colony that if we were able to snap it, so th this is what the, we can colonize using current colonization tech. It's a little bit funny. Technically, we can't, but the humans being here means that we can. So just because we're compatible with the humans, it's going to allow us to, because I technically don't have, 
I do not have a uh, marshy swamp colonization yet. So <clears throat> it's kind of a, a weird thing that because the humans are there, I'm able to colonize that planet. Otherwise, um, we are not able to colonize marshy swamps. So, so we will want to get on that right away. In fact, maybe before I forget, let's just go right to the construction yard <clears throat> and get a new colony ship. And I did ch double check that um, we wanted this castor what um, facility is building. It's 18% complete. That's going to be huge when we get it, which takes us over to technology. Okay, so we're just queuing through a whole bunch of different things. I, I guess because I don't do um, episodes very uh, often, I probably I'm starting to think I need to revamp my the way I do my um, my YouTube channel. That I should probably do like one or only two maximum series at a time, so I can pump out content for them quicker. I'm not like a paid channel or, you know, <laughs> dedicated, dedicated full time to doing this. So <laughs> it's, it's quite difficult, but um, that, that might be a little more satisfying to people. Um, I personally like spreading it out because that's the way I play games in my life. I don't just focus on one game or generally I'll focus on, I mean, I'll be focusing on a couple games, but uh, some of the games I played are not really appropriate for the channel. So. So we have um, component prefabrication, prefabrication, sorry. Uh, it's 17% done, no, 12% done, sorry. And this is gonna give us size 400, which is where our light cruisers will come in, as I mentioned. Nothing really more I need to do in this one because we already have queued up all the reactors after that, and that's gonna take quite some time. Advanced blasters is just about to finish, 91%. We're gonna switch down to missiles after that. And after that, we're gonna have quite a long hiatus before we really have an advantage um, to push in, a, in blasters again. We'll probably stay with the Maxos blasters at their tier four, instead of going to either of these, even at their tier two. And then we'll just pick up Titan beams whenever we can. So these might be R&D prototypes only. We may never actually even strap any of these on our ships, just trying to get to Titan beams as fast as possible. Lastly, we have advanced research, which is gonna give us the um, energy research. So this is uh, quite a long ways away and it's like over a million credits to speed it up. We don't really need to speed up anything. I mean, I would always like to. The problem is money, right? So right now our money is being all funneled into the military, which brings me full circle back to my first point that how do we want to manage this war? Because we're in two, I mean, we're in two unofficial wars, but even though it's only one official war with the Masadans, however, we're, you know, the bigger fight actually is with the Handuini, these pirates. Um, they have a, there it is. They have another base over here, the Troxian um, base. And that's what we're thinking of assaulting. So right now our fleets are, oh, also off camera, I started to go, I started to grab all the different planets that have bases that need to be repaired. So right now the Masadans have jumped in on this system I don't think there's anybody who can respond in time. They actually have destroyed, I think they have a cruiser, right? Yeah, wait. Oh, troop transport, that's another item we will eventually have to work on. I thought these guys had cruisers, there it is, yeah. So they actually have a cruiser with them. Although this is only 200 shields, 200 firepower, so it's pretty significant. We're gonna have to really deal with this carefully. Obviously, this is very weak. If we focus fire, glass cannon, I think we won't have too much of a problem because our range is not that big. But we'll have to be careful. I will actually have to micromanage. So obviously, I've set this planet, and I've also set this planet, which, I mean, if we're honest, is probably not long for this world either. <laughs> so those are the a few plants we're going to have to address later on in this episode. Okay, take a breath. We got the colony ship going, I think, right? See, I forgot to build it. Okay, I don't want to build more than one, but let's get that. All right, so now I'm probably going to be running this a little bit slower. Oh yeah, our fleets. So right now this is all under construction. We have it already to engage nearby targets, very good. First fleet is going to start disbanding. Um, where are you? And where are you going? Okay, so let's just get First Fleet to meet 
up at Nikkei. Move to planet Nikkei, which is weird, I guess, our planet, it is a planet, okay. I'm surprised that this isn't a moon. I guess that is two different separate orbits. Strange. So we'll just get that um, them to meet up there, and then we'll disband them. Oh, good. So we actually received a research bonus and damage control. Okay, not the ideal one, but still something. This is the uh, military ship we kind of stole from the Silesians and their planet. We um, disassembled it. Now, I'm not going to do anything because we still get this bonus. Well... Maybe that bonus is actually done now, but let's look at what we got. Oh, damage control. Okay, that would be at the bottom here. There it is. Damage control is pretty interesting. Actually, this is a, wow, we got 66% of a 1200K project. That's a 800K of research we just got. You know, that's basically the same as receiving 200,000 credits. Damage reduction, 40%. That's So I always like to get um, only the last tier of these, which is the one that has self-repair. That one's obviously fantastic. These seem really good, but I, I usually kind of actually... I don't really use these <laughs> until we get to robotic repairs. And typically the, the way I'm dealing with a lot of these techs is later in the game my research is so high. I'll just go down a tier before I go down the next tier before I go down, and it'll it'll happen pretty fast so that reminds me that we also I know that we haven't done anything in this thing yet but I, I do want to try to swap text with them let's uh, go to negotiate because they won't swap for money but we can try to sell how much money do they have now 127,000 not really enough for me to sell anything to them quite yet um, however we could look and see what the Silesians have. I know that their economy is not going to be quite as high, but yeah, they don't even have a hundred thousand. A shame. Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna trust that nobody else has any money compared to if the Silesians and Solarians don't. Assuming I would assume nobody does. Wait a second. Oh, they have a ninety-five thousand. So not quite. All right. Goodbye. But thank you for bringing your fleets. They're bringing 12th, 7th, and 13th, which have 15 ships each. They also have cruisers in here. Now, I was saying I don't think we can get a response team into Westry in time, which is unfortunate. But these guys are going to land. The Silesian reinforcements are heading to Belgaruth. So at least they can reinforce there. I don't know where they'll move. Now, uh, with the pirates, okay, I know that we're jumping around quite a bit. But this is interesting as well, that right now, because of the damage we've done... Um, a protection agreement is only 2800 for them. So one of the ideas I was contemplating is, what if we just take a protection agreement with these guys and then uh, choose to go fully after the Masadans? I don't think this is a bad idea. I mean, I feel like we are on the offensive right now. Things are going our way. But it would, it's like we have 4th Fleet being sent up here who was eventually going to translate over to Troxy and to, to attack the other small spaceport they have, the Handuini have there. I think we're going to do it. So we've inflicted some good casualties on them. We've inflicted some good casualties on them, but... Uh, it's time to divert our forces to another direction. Which means that 4th Fleet no longer has to be worried about doing what they were going to do. We can now move them over to... Maybe. I don't think they'll get there in time. I'm not even sure if they have the firepower to assist, but let's have them move to this moon. Maybe they can get there in time to save the second. So what do they have here? This is an explorer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the Masons are the weakest. I, I don't know if I showed, but their military strength, minus 3,000. You had the Silesians at 7, and Armani at, I mean, Sil um, Silesians at 4,200. The Masadans are at 2,000, so that's, they only have two-thirds of my strength, even. They're not in a good shape. So we can take this moment to kind of wait for our fleets to refit. Oh, so this is the Gainusi's system. Let's investigate the ship. Good. Crazy. 
crazy man. What kind of madness is this? Oh, they got a tractor. Hmm. I'm. I feel very sad for this explorer ship. We moved all this way, so the guy in Usi's navigation navigational data that we got from I don't remember where it was. It was a different. I don't remember. Who, it was generated by something. And then it ended up being a trap. Well, that's just horrible. The worst thing about this is we're giving a Firepower 200 cruiser to the Handuini, who are, our, of course, our worst enemies. This guy's just not going to make it. I don't think he's going to make it. Yep, he's not going to make it. Yep. Ah, there's the hyperdrive. As soon as he loses hyperdrive, he's gone. So, unfortunate, but this is just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. At the same time, we're getting slaughter over here. Wait a second. Yeah, we'll just take this time to regroup. So, what is 7th Fleet doing up here? This is actually just the guy who needs to be repaired, right? Yeah, so you are repairing. Very good. Alright, so... Although it's not, like, great news, at least things are happening... Eventually we'll regroup and <laughs> what I'm trying to say is like I'm happy that we're rebuilding our fleets even though we're taking losses while it's happening. I still feel like this is a good time that we're regrouping. We're not using this time poorly. Look at all these ships being completed. Okay, this is actually good. So I'm actually happy that they decided, whoa, they completely destroyed that base. And now it looks like they're going to be attacking the next one, but we may, just may, get there in time. Yeah, they are moving in. So this is a nail biter. I really wish, in fact, we only have seven ships in fourth fleet. It's not like a, a large number. We probably need to send some reinforcements. Looks like ninth fleet, eighth fleet is ready to go. Seventh fleet and below, or they're still fixing themselves up. Fourth fleet actually needs to refuel. They're kind of low on fuel, but they're in the fight now, so too late. And third fleet, where, wait, where the hell is third fleet? Oh, this is interesting. What we could do, and I think we will do, is we're going to shift. We're going to shift third fleet over. It will leave our colony at Lahan vulnerable for a small amount of time, but we will shift a new group. Let's say... Okay, who else is available? Fourth fleet's there, third fleet is going. Fifth, sixth, and yep, it's gotta be eighth fleet. So eighth fleet will be the new protectorate of the Lahayan system. I mean, the Lahayan colony. And I don't mind leaving this alone just for a moment because actually the space, excuse me, the spaceport here is up and running. So it's, it's a minor defense, right? It's not like, the, you can see the shields are still actually getting built, but that should be enough to protect them at least for a small amount of time. Okay, so now all eyes on 4th Fleet. They are a bit scattered. I, well, <sighs> we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. I mean, for them. So we'll take 5th Fleet, we'll get them to react. Um, I guess there's other fleets here. Yeah. Wait, where are you? Oh, you actually are returning. So, I won't give an order to these guys because it might stop him. Just hope that 5th Fleet is enough to deal with this incursion. These guys should all react anyway, just by default. Oh, like, look at that. <laughs> That's uh, really funny timing. <laughs> okay, good. So, how's 4th Fleet doing? Are they there yet? So close, but not quite. Okay, then let me take a look at 6th Fleet again. Oh, no, wait. Which fleet was it? 5th Fleet. Okay, good. And they will crush that. We'll get them to move back to Planet Griffin. Somebody completed their mission. This is not one who's been destroyed. Okay, so this was a refueling operation. 
Exploring the nearest system takes us all the way up there. Good God. So up here, it looks like... Oh, you know what? No, let's go explore this. Let's move to... No, just move to this coordinate here. Damn it. Let's try this again. I really want you to move to this exact coordinate, but it's not allowing me to. I guess I could just zoom in like this. Now it should allow me. All right, which exploration ship is this? This is Resolute Agent. We're down to significantly less than we originally had. So there, some movement here has been given. That's good. All right, so Fourth Fleet is now our focus. They're coming in. It's going to be about perfect timing. Now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of their ships, which actually includes two, two, two troop transports. So I'm actually pretty happy about this. If we focus fire like we will on the cruisers, we should come out ahead. Now let's just take a look at their range. Their range is 220, so they are using, I think, they are using the same Maxos blasters we're using, but we're Oh, so close. We're so close. 4% away. We don't have time. I mean, this this place is... Alright, okay, move up here. Move up here. Oh, God. We came in right in... Oh, God. Well. That's bad. You know, you always want to fight a group in detail. And that's just what we're allowing them to do now, is fight us in detail. Don't know. We have one more coming in too, and he is crap. He's also gonna miss. It looks like he might miss. Also, also low. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay, I think we're gonna lose one. I'm gonna tell him to escape because he's just gonna take too many hits. We'll regroup. You move directly here. They actually are not engaging him yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the engagement. Oh, good God. And I told him to escape already, so hopefully he gets out of there. Where's the last one that's coming in? Wait. Did another one come in even closer? One, two, three, four, five, six... Where the hell's the last guy? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got all of them. Oh, it was this guy. Okay, fine, move here. I think. Well, he didn't make it. Um, unfortunately, when you're not sprinting, <laughs> our cruise speed is pretty low. And they are in the act of sprinting, so... Let's get this guy to escape. He will speed up then, I think. He's not speeding up. I thought that this beep escape used their... Uh, well, at least they're leaving their cruiser a little bit behind. Alright, so now at this point, I, think, I guess it's just too late. We're going to have to commit to this. So, fourth fleet. Your guys' priority target is ship number one. Actually, we should prioritize this one because it's the one that's already taking damage. I'm going to get this guy. He's going to go in. These two will just attack this guy. Number five, right? You're attacking good. And everyone else will attack this guy. Okay, good. So this is sufficient. This will have to be sufficient. We'll have to use, hopefully, our superior shields. These guys only have 100 shields. Destroyer versus destroyer battle. It's a big one. He's getting out of there, though. I think he's going to make it. Leave. Get out. Starting to take some damage. All right, here we go. As long as we focus fire, we should be okay, though. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't focus fire that way. We'll have to do it this way. Okay, now focus fire. I'm just going to right-click. They should That should target a single one of them. Yep, so they went on to a different one. And this is the way to win. Focus fire. Move back, move back. Damn it. It's too late. 
Now they only have two ships here, so I'm gonna right click again, focus fire. We could go after these troop, oh god. The troop transports are coming in. Oh, they actually have some small amount of defenses. Well, we're gonna completely ignore that. Good god, that hit. Whatever these guys are firing, it might be torpedoes. I think it is. It's just decimating us. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> are we still trying to go there? <laughs> Eventually they're going to figure it out, but maybe it won't happen this episode. <laughs> okay, I think we're I think we're going to win this. I keep using WASD to move. You have to right click. That's a mistake on my part. We're down one ship. Another one's injured over here, but we're doing okay. They are just taking massive, massive hits. So continue to fight. Fight long. Fight long. Oh! Third fleet has arrived! Third fleet is arriving. Okay, get out. Get out. If you can, just get out. Escape. Escape. Reinforcements just in time. It's a nice moment. I'm going to have this guy escape preemptively. This guy is fine on shields. Yeah. I think everyone else here is fine. Now, I can't multi-select, but just have these guys... Okay, third fleet. You're you have to take out this immediately. Wait, that's their yeah, that's a cruiser. All right. Well, that should be the end of this fight, basically. And hopefully we'll get the troop transports as well. Oh my gosh, they're still, they're still coming. Uh, it's kind of silly. Ah, uh, this guy's not going to make it. But I'm still happy with this. I think I'm still happy. And we just got our breakthrough. Uh, we just got advanced blasters. Uh, a little bit late, but that's okay. I just realized our colony ship is going to have to go through that Handuini cruiser, so we're going to have to send a protection fleet for it. But it looks like we're going to end up killing all the forces here. And we actually preserved, uh, kind of preserved, this, uh, the station. So I'm going to consider this a job well done. I imagine that, uh, Fourth Fleet is going to have to be, yeah. Okay, well, go repair and refuel at Lehay and then. Good job, gentlemen. Are you guys all. It looks like. Oh, no hyperstrive on this one. So you just come to a stop. We need a construction ship up here anyway. Ah, uh, Cheerful Splendor is the one who did that deconstruction. So, what's the fuel like? Okay, you have enough. Then just come directly here. We need you to do several things. First, repair this. And then, eventually, you're going to need to repair this other one as well. So move to that mining station, and we'll leave uh, Third Fleet here for the time being. At this point, Eighth Fleet should already have arrived at Lahan. They have. Fantastic. So we managed to kind of salvage that situation. Hmm. And right on cue... Our construction ship has finished. Where was this one at? Yeah, way out here. Well, I guess we can do both repairs at the same time because I know that there's other stuff that needs to get done, but we'll just move this one here. Actually, I might as well just right click to do the repairs. I'm pretty sure that this ship, Gaudi Adventure, is going to get there much before this one. Okay, how's the repairs on 7th Fleet going? Still damaged. Okay, well, work on it. The repairs are pretty slow. Somebody else completed their mission? Aha! Uh -huh. And what's the nearest unexplored planet here? Over there. Well, that seems like a good enough planet. We don't have anybody there already? Okay, we'll go explore that one for sure. A pirate frigate. How are we under attack by a pirate frigate? 
Do you mean to tell me that the Handoweenies canceled our protection agreement? I probably didn't notice, but... Did they cancel that agreement? So where did we get the agreement? It was... Right before we did this ambush, right? I guess that that just broke our treaty with them. Let me, let's just, okay, we can do this very simply just by looking. Well, yeah, we are not paying them. Okay, well, what, can we, uh, what's... Yeah, this is what I feared. Because they got that cruiser, now they think that they're the kings of the block. And now they're going to charge us double. <laughs> ah, that's frustrating. <laughs> Oh man, their firepower is almost up to 7,000 again just because that one damn ship. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll just slowly, by piecemeal, continue, continue to work on these guys. I think I don't even need to give orders here. These guys are all going to just get demolished. That was pretty quick. Well, slowly we'll whittle away at them. I guess we will still have to fight a two-front war then. Not my favorite thing to do. I thought it was going to be a, a pretty intelligent decision just to stave off things with the Handwini. Now, since there we're once again at war with them, I think we will prioritize them over... Uh, the Masadans just don't... They are not that big of a threat. You can see we are able to deal with their fleet. They're probably knocked down to, like, 1,200. Okay, they're at 1,800. They're probably building a lot of ships still. And... I guess the military strength of the ships I just built uh, killed was not that high. I'm guessing that probably two-thirds of this military strength, maybe 1,200 of it, is tied up in stations, though. So I'm not too worried. They probably only have about 600 mobile. Somebody needs refueling. Okay, let's get your whole... Oh, second fleet. You guys look like you're done. Are you guys the current protectors of Sphinx? I guess you are, right? Because we don't have anybody else here. So second fleet, that makes sense. First, it would be ideal if I was able to do first was here. Eventually what I'll do is rename things, but you know, when you have 10, it's not that hard to keep track of. Like I already know that fourth fleet is, uh, no, okay. Eighth fleet is in the little hand because fourth fleet was the attacker, third fleet. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing a very good job keeping track of them, am I? <laughs> Everyone else is at Griffin because that's where they're repairing. Oh, so if you're damaged, buddy, yeah, the first fleet, let's grab these guys. Um, if you're damaged, I want you just to retire at the nearest shipyard. And you're damaged as well. Even though it's only six components, these are just outdated ships. So just go ahead and uh, retire. Okay. Oh, I am a fool. How funny. I forgot. I thought Sphinx's station was done. It's not. So what I did is I sent my fleet away. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They might get a few shots off. But nothing we can't deal with, but it's just really a stupid decision. Third fleet is out here protecting. Let's have them actually move to this planet. Okay, fourth fleet is there getting repaired at Lahan. That's good. Wow, they got some serious damage too. Oh, yeah, this one cannot make it, but... You have hyperdrive. Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> you need to repair. <laughs> okay, fifth fleet is also a griffin. Yeah, let's send fifth fleet... Oh. They look like they're in good shape. We want to take care of this immediately. Just a frigate. In a second, it's going to be surrounded by lots of things it doesn't want to be surrounded by. 
Oh god, it's a full-on strike. Well, I'm glad I got a lot, two fleets up here. Good, good, very good. Okay, so these guys will both protect. I don't think we'll even see any damage. It doesn't look like any damage is going to happen. We actually were able to kill one of them. I think we can get this guy too, it's just another frigate. Ah, very good. Two more down. Okay, good. So let's have second once again, just... Well, you guys can go refuel at the nearest spaceport, and we'll leave fifth here instead, since fifth is in good shape. All right, so this is another 35 minutes, another episode. Oh, look, another foolish, rather foolish ship. I cannot wait for us to have better sprint speed, though. I'm not entirely happy with, uh, oh, well, I mean, I guess it is better than their sprint speed. No, this is only bad because he's getting destroyed. Yeah, it's good to see that we killed another one. What, did they, what are they down to? They're just throwing away ships piecemeal. Yeah, they're down to 6,400. They're down to 100. Good God. Whatever, something major has happened. They lost 600 firepower and like 20 military ships. That can't all be me. Oh, maybe it is. Um, so, 5th Fleet, can you guys deal with this threat instead? That's perfect timing, really. These guys are just about to jump out, and at the same time, <laughs> they're absorbing a little bit of shield damage. Oh yeah, 2nd Fleet is actually the one with my ship captain. Oh, that's good. And now this guy's, he's a goner. There it is. Okay, get 5th fifth, fifth Fleet back to the Sphinx port. Wow, so they're just tossing away uh, all their ships, the Handweenies. Also need to keep track, oh, look at this. They've arrived. Interesting to see what do they do from here? What will they do from here? Ah, they're refueling. Okay, very smart. So they're gonna take all my fuel, but that's fine. We'll, we'll take the money for it, because you do get a nice refueling bonus. Da -da -da, fuel costs. I guess it counts as foreign trade. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, wrong, wrong, wrong. Somebody's under attack. Oh, yeah, they really are just throwing... Okay, this we have to be a little more worried about. This guy's a goner, but this is big. And I don't know, uh, the Umwats, uh, I think we are helping them. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, that's so cool that they're helping us fight. We are paying them protection and money, so it makes sense, but it's, it's cool to see it in practice. And there's the Griffin trying to contribute, very good, well done. So, 6th Fleet, oh, where's this guy? Ah, he's inbound. <clears throat> I see, though, he probably lost a couple reactors, and he only has speed of 5,000. I think our normal speed is 15,000, so you can see how long it took him to get in. And that's, oh, maybe it's because he's out of fuel, sorry. His speed is reduced by one-third because he's out of fuel, that makes sense. So maybe he lost his fuel capacity, but... Look at the difference, how much Sixth Fleet has gotten done while this one guy took three times longer to make the trip. It just shows you how important the hyperdrive technology is. Getting these better hyperdrives, the enhanced speed is just amazing. So 2,000, that guy's at 5,000 and it took him forever, right? It would have been two times, two and a half times slower. Uh, these guys have a mission? No, they haven't decided what they're gonna do quite yet. But they're a good frontline force. They'll probably all refuel, take all my fuel. It'll take them a long time to refuel just from that one, even though I try to keep a lot of storage on my stations. I'm not sure, yeah. I'm not sure how long that one's been up, but maybe there has been enough time for us to uh, give them a big stockpile. 
We'll see very shortly. <clears throat> Check one more time on this guy. Oh, good. So he's normal. Well, then I want you to refuel. I really want to actually do this instead. Let's get seven fleet to refuel ships at nearest fueling point or spaceport. Now this guy is done. He's ready to help. Probably we'll send him, Kyadia Prophet, over to this station here. Which I had specifically hotkeyed. This one needs a new... Oh, yeah, so one of the construction ships actually needs to head home to grab supplies so we can repair this. What are you doing? What in God's name are you doing? Are you not able to turn? You are. Then... Just make your way over to this planet. Oh boy. Ah, okay, so sabotage. Okay, so one of our stations, Pant, I need to know where that is. We actually, wow, damn, this is good stuff too. We, we really need this back, so zero, nine, zero, da. I'm no longer going to use hotkeys for fleets. It'll be a reminder tab for me which planets we have to repair. Uh, sad times. And how's first fleet doing, by the way? Okay, good. They are uh, slowly being disassembled. That's good. Maybe it's just time for all of them to depart. Um, I don't know when we made them. If, if you could, you could make the argument that they are just really outdated ships. <clears throat> you can always upgrade things, but, and technically their shields, a lot of the things about them are upgrading. Let's take a look. So shields are upgrading, not their armor. Hmm. Not their reactor. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess not their ion thrusters, not their directional thrusters. They are extremely old. Basically, the only things upgrading are actually the shields and the blasters. And the hyperdrive. Well, they're slow. They actually have a decent amount of firepower. I didn't realize that I put so many... This is a decent ship still, but it's it's seen its day, and I think it's time to retire the last of them. So, firstly, your orders are... Uh, to move, uh, let's just have them move to the, no, can I get the station? Well, okay, you guys already know that. <clears throat> I don't actually know where the rest of them are. Yeah, they're all here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and I'm going to create a new group of seven. We'll make those guys um, first fleet, and then I'll cycle the old ones out. Oops, need to go to construction. It's about time for the tribal classes to be... Uh, this will be the last group I make of tribals. And we had plenty of money, so it was about the right time to do it. I mean, we're not paying production money to the Handuini, so that's nice. Very good. So now I think I will call this episode to a close here. I think we made good progress. Oh, more attacks going on, but really they're just squandering their forces because we're able to repel all these minor attacks. So uh, thanks for watching. In the next episode, what are the plans? I, I really got to make sure that we stay. I, it's really easy for me to just kind of sit and do nothing. <clears throat> Let's kind of try... Oh, okay, so next episode, I think we'll do this attacks... The Troxian system? Oh, maybe a different nation hit the Troxian system. It could have been espionage, too. Not this, not this. Let's go here. Yeah, they're down to... They were at like 7,000, right? Now they're down to 5,700? 85 ships? Hmm. All right, well, then I guess the decision is made. Oh, look at they just forward settled. Uh, that's a weird term. They just made a new colony, which is absolutely the wrong time to do it. Well, I think we know what we're going to be doing, doing next turn. Let's push into Aurelan, which should absorb their defensive and offensive fleets. You know what they say, the best defense 
is a strong offense. So we'll we'll try to do that. And that was such a weird way I said it. The best defense is a strong offense. Anyway, that's the mentality we'll stick to on the next episode, which also hopefully keep things interesting. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for that one hopefully soon.